Monopolies are desired by businesses and their shareholders because they lead to large profits. Other firms know that the monopolist makes above normal profits. New firms may see opportunities to enter a monopoly situation, but often do not succeed. A monopoly is often protected from competition because, unlike in perfect competition, the market has significant barriers to entry. In the case of a monopoly, these barriers are formidable enough to prevent new entrants from getting started in the market. There are five main types of barriers to entry. Economies of scale, ownership or control of a key resource, strategic pricing, innovation, and legal barriers. In some markets, a single large firm is more efficient than many small firms because these markets have economies of scale and production, which means a firm's long run average total cost decreases as production levels increase. This creates what's known as a natural monopoly, where a monopoly is created because economies of scale make production by a single firm the most cost-effective way of producing products. Utility industries, such as electric companies, have high fixed costs that make it difficult to profit. It is unlikely many corporations would enter the market for utilities, such as water, electricity, or cable television, because the high fixed costs make it difficult to ensure a profit. A monopolist may own or control a key resource, which will keep potential rivals out of the market. For example, De Beers was once the dominant supplier of diamonds in the world. It became so by purchasing diamond mines in the 1880s and later through establishing a one-channel distribution system in which it made exclusive contracts with both suppliers and wholesale buyers. This system made it virtually impossible for a consumer to buy a diamond without De Beers profiting. At its height, the firm controlled 90% of the world's diamond market. Strategic pricing, sometimes called predatory pricing, is the ability of the monopolist to reduce the market price in order to keep competitors from succeeding. Because the monopolist may have some economies of scale, it will probably have a lower break-even point than a competitor producing a lower quantity. If a new competitor moves into the market, the monopolist can slash its prices and still at least break even. Even if the rival tries to match the monopolist's price, it cannot do this for long. The price is below the rival's break-even point, so the rival is taking a loss for every sale at this price. The rival will eventually have to leave the market. Innovation is the economic application of a new product, production process, or method of organizing a business. Determining the exact relationship between a monopoly and innovation is a difficult task. Monopolies may stimulate innovation as competitors discover new ways to enter a market, but they may also stifle innovation because of their dominant position. If a company can establish an innovation, as with new technology, it can end up with an initial monopoly because it is the only firm with a technological advantage. If the firm can keep this advantage over time, this monopoly can persist, but this is usually a temporary barrier to entry. A legal barrier is a government-created barrier to entry, such as a patent, copyright, trademark, or license, intended to encourage innovation. When developing prescription drugs, companies spend years funding research and development before they can sell an effective drug on the market. Patents allow them to recoup all of the money they invested in developing the drug. A patent is the exclusive right of an inventor to use their invention for 20 years after submitting the patent. A copyright is the legally provided right of an artist and their estate to profit from their work for the life of the artist plus 70 years. But in certain cases, it can be as long as life plus 120 years.